Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We have a lot of those lately. Mm -hmm. Lots of doses of Dismal Disney. It's going to get very interesting between today and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, this say. week uh, we've got the big proxy battle. Uh, tomorrow it ends tomorrow uh, with the shareholder meeting. And I, I'll be honest, I don't know which way it's going to go. In fact, uh, the media is already kind of saying it's, you know, Disney is going to win again. Don't know. Of course, this is an April 1st article, so maybe they're joking, but uh, yeah, we don't know how it's going to go. I, I personally think Disney might win just because we have so many uh, individuals that, that might not cast a vote at all. Or, they're or that vote. they're very pixie dusting. And yeah, all. yeah, they're going to vote Disney even if it doesn't make any sense because Disney told them to. Ludwig von Drake told yeah, them to vote. We can trust, we can trust Iger and, and Ludwig von Drake. You can trust Mickey Mouse. Yeah, uh, that's exactly it. So anyway, we're going to talk about this, uh, this Florida situation again because it's interesting. There was an article that was put out there uh, today with the Orlando Sentinel which is, of course, a left-leaning publication. Uh, they're basically saying that both sides won. Disney no, didn't lose. They didn't. They really didn't win that much. We're all yeah, winners. I'm sorry. We're all winners. What did they win exactly? Basically, they had uh, two people removed from uh, DeSantis's board, and that happened way before this this lawsuit, I think, didn't it? And I'm like, they didn't win anything. D Disney basically had to settle as I understand it, because they couldn't move forward with any any plans. Yeah, they were trying. Well, first they were trying to go after DeSantis, and that was dismissed in January. And they were trying to, from my understanding, they were trying to sue. They were trying to get this whole Central Florida Tourism Oversight District reversed yes. back to Reedy Creek. And that they'd have their legal fees paid for and all this other stuff. Yeah. And they end up settling whatever you know with whatever that is. But the settlement sounds to me like Disney didn't win because now they're no. rolling back the agreement with the, the new district to 2020. Yeah. So they basically have to reset the, the clock on this. They have I, to make a new agreement because they're kicking out Disney's last minute, you know, things they put in there that were absolute crap and that wouldn't fly yeah. most places. Yeah. They snuck some stuff in some language at the last minute. Uh, yeah, I guess hoping some people be asleep at the wheel, but they basically gave themselves unlimited power, you know, so forever the could pay for it. Yeah. Uh, but then like the day that this was announced, we had the Hollywood reporter being like, it's a stalemate. I'm like, it's, it's not, not a stalemate. It's not a stalemate. I don't, I, why is it so hard to say? Cause like, look, you go back, uh, in January, they tossed out this other lawsuit. And I remember all these, these Disney fans were like, you know, uh, you know, DeSantis is going to lose. He's going to lose clownfish. You know? And the thing is, is we actually, and I, I'll admit at first I was like, I don't know if Florida's going to win this one or not. I have no idea. Well, you're also these things. Oh, 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 the, the don't say gay issue dissolved and in, devolved into a years long bitter feud. It was only a couple years ago. It wasn't years long. It was a couple years ago. It was two whole years. That's years long. They're making out like this was like decades of strife. I know, and that's you know? not what happened. And this whole thing with the, the new district and that happened like a year ago. It was like February, I think, of last yeah. year. So a little more than a year ago was this whole thing was resolved within a year. Um, Disney did not win. They are not reversing it back to Reedy Creek. So the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District will prevail, will still be in charge. Disney does not get to keep their special covenants. They do not get their legal fees back. They do not get any of that stuff. So, no, they didn't win. The only thing that, that, that they, they have, they're going to have now is that now they can just finally start working with the new uh, people, the new, the new oversight, the oversight district and make a new agreement and start moving forward to be able to announce new things for the park. Yeah. That, that's, that, that's about it. I mean, they're not winning no. really. I don't understand why they keep saying this. They kind of, I don't know. it's over. They didn't win. We can move forward now. Uh, yeah. So even Kotaku, Kotaku, I'm shocked in January. They, they said Disney. That was loses. the January one. That was the January one, but I was shocked. They're probably saying now, oh, oh, it's, it, it, it's, it's both a stalemate. Uh, they, they, they both win. We're all winners here. So let's, let's talk about this before you get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Both sides. Both sides are good. Uh, Disney versus DeSantis. Who won? Why settle commentary for him from the Orlando Sentinel? Uh, they said last week, DeSantis and Mickey Mouse announced they were done trying to sue each other's pants off. Seems like a that's a refreshing change from trying to get other people's pants off. Ooh. That seems like good news for Mickey since pants are just pretty much the only thing he wears. But um, oh, you're so 
funny, Scott. So they're talking about the legal fees. DeSantis' Twitter team declared it a total victory for their boss, while the legal analysts at Above the Law website scoffed, concluding DeSantis claims victory over Disney, and all he had to do was give Disney everything they wanted. What did he give them that they wanted? What did he give them that they, they wanted? They wanted the they wanted Reedy Creek back, didn't get it. They basically wanted basically Reedy Creek. Basically, yeah. one of the people were removed from the board. So what? Who scored a win? They both did. No. Uh, some of Dis. Okay, so this is this is yeah. Well, technically, okay. This, 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 this is, is reaching. This, this is, is reaching. This is reaching. Some of Disney's biggest victories were scored in the days before the settlement was announced, when we learned DeSantis was giving Disney everything it wanted in terms of friendly faces back in charge. Basically, they got rid of uh, Glenn Gilzine and uh, who was the other the other. I one. don't know. Friendly faces. You mean, friendly faces mean those who'll kiss your ass and do what you want. But they didn't though, because a lot of people that were on the that were on their board that you know, and the ones that were like working with their lawyers and stuff, they aren't back. So this isn't really exactly true. No, it's, it's what did Disney went. They got the people. They got the people they wanted back on. No, they didn't. Yes and no, but they're not bringing back Reedy Creek. Disney's not no. getting not getting that back. They're have they're taking their, their little creative you know agreement they did giving themselves all this power to after whatever to descend twenty years after the last descendants of King Charles and all this crap, all that got nixed. It's going back to the twenty twenty agreement before they put those those covenants yes. in, and it's going to be rewritten now from that and the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District gets to do it. So, so how did they win again? So Disney got what it wanted in terms of leadership. Two antagonists are gone and two friendlier faces are in charge. Also, while the settlement ends at the st- ends the state litigation, it still leaves open the possibility for Disney to proceed with its federal and, and suit. If they do, they're stupid. That they're would be, be wasting stupid. money. You know, you could just, or you could just like, you know, could accept the loss and actually try to work with these people so we can move forward and get new things in the park that aren't that stupid forces of nature thing. Or, oh, here's a stage show because we don't have to go through so many hoops to build something new. Okay, they put one sentence in here conceding that DeSantis won. But DeSantis also notched a big win. For starters, he won the overall war. <laughs> but that's just a little that's, thing. That's, that's just a, kind of a big oh thing. Oh, my God, Scott. They really cannot Scott? deal with this. The Disney-run district is no more. The DeSantis-run district rules. Mission accomplished. But giving Disney the kind wait, of friendly bosses the theme park wanted, wait, DeSantis wait, also started winding wait, down wait, long wait, wait, battle. Wait. What, what, what? Wait, the what? Disney run district? Wait, are you admitting that Disney ran Reedy Creek? That everybody knew they ran it and they weren't supposed to. It was oh. supposed to be, they were supposed to be like the, the oversight. Whoopsie doopsie. But everybody knows Disney ran it. Everybody they had their knows. Own people on there, their lawyers were writing stuff for other people and not putting their name on it so they wouldn't have wrong optics and they got busted for all that. They're admitting that Disney ran Reedy Creek. They weren't supposed to, but they did. They actually admitted it in the article. Oh my God, this whole thing is just, this is just cope. I mean, this really is. They're like, see, most of America never rallied behind the governor's obsessive attacks on Disney. It not only cost him the support of soccer moms in Iowa, but also business and conservative leaders who dislike seeing a politician use the power of government to punish people who disagree with them. No, no, okay, okay, here's my thing though. My thing is, I I, I think DeSantis was doing it because of, you know, that one bill. It should have been done years before. And people get mad at me for saying this, but it should have been done. It shouldn't have been done just because DeSantis was mad about, you know, Disney, you know, overstepping with that. They should have taken care of this Reedy Creek thing years ago before DeSantis. You know, you all sat there, were fine with it when Disney was in, you know, your buddy, buddy, you know, you're hanging out. But, you know, they overstepped. And then now yeah. you're going to handle it. But it should have been handled a long time Ago. Yeah, I mean, look, I will give you, I, I think DeSantis did get into a pissing match with Disney, but to say that the, the, the soccer moms in Iowa, actually the soccer moms in Iowa are probably what, the ones that were the most like, what the f- hell is Disney doing? Mm-hmm. Like, what are they doing? What are they doing? And it did. This whole thing, you can try to be like, oh, both sides won. I'm like, this, this is actually what kicked off a lot of the anti-Disney sentiment and a lot of consumer backlash. And you can do whatever you want to, however you want to spin it. But it's like those soccer moms in Iowa actually did care, I think, a little bit more. Well, here's the thing. Why does it matter what soccer moms in Iowa said? For something because that's they fly place to, in Florida. Because they fly to Florida once a year and spend but, fifteen twenty thousand dollars you know, on a trip. Is, that's my, why. My thing is, though, with this whole thing, it's like it should have been handled long ago. Yes. But Disney was abusing what they had. And, and the problem is, is that they wanted everybody to play by the same rules. And I agree with that because... It's not fair that Disney got to, you know, 
green light everything they wanted to do on their own. Um, well, other places had to jump through hoops. Yes. I think that I all, but I will say, I don't think it was right. The Santa's appointed the board himself. I think it should have been like elected or for the people in that area or something. It should, it shouldn't have been just, he appointed who he wanted to, because he's only going to put people who are going to go along should with it. Should have been more democratic. I no agree. Pun I think it should have been more democratic. <laughs> no pun intended. If they're I'm being not talking fair. the party. We're not talking the party. We're talking, I mean, yeah. I'm just talking about being fair yes. and optics yeah. and everything else. But Disney did not win this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Scott. Um, but this I'm whole, sorry to kick you in the balls, but he didn't, they didn't win. This whole thing is about like the Twitter trolls on team DeSantis thought it was a hoot and a half to accuse Mickey mouse of supporting pedophiles. But most normal Americans thought it was strange. No, no, what? there was a backlash. There was a massive there was backlash. A backlash. Yeah. People think, I think they thought it was strange that DeSantis kept like, he just kept going after Disney. Like, you know, okay. Yeah. We can see where you're doing, but he he did kind of take it too far, I think, sometimes. And it, but, but then they were suing each other, so how else are you not supposed to talk about it? But this guy just sounds like he's really, really mad because, you know, DeSantis basically won. Yes, yeah, so this whole thing is about, like, them accusing Disney of being pedophiles. Now, this is telling, though, because this is actually what we said. They said Disney never really cared about LGBTQ mm -hmm. legislation. While the company cloaks, cloaks itself in rainbow flags for marketing, I agree. Disney has long supported some of the most vocally anti-gay politicians in Florida. That is actually true. Disney does play both sides. The, we told you guys that before this yeah, happened. It's the, like they've always done this. The Pride Month stuff is a merch line for them. I'm going to be honest. A lot of these companies do it. I think a lot of people are soft. I think they're using your they're using your identity as a way to make money. Sorry, but they are. It is what it is. But this is just like one one sentence admits that DeSantis went. No, DeSantis absolutely positively won. But I think in in this case. Disney did it because like you were saying at the beginning to, for them to be able to build anything new, they need to get the blessing of this group. They're not, they're not going to be able to overthrow it. No, which they're not going to be able to, um, they're going to have to work with them. And if they had done that since day one, one, it would be a hell of a lot cheaper Two, They would have had a lot less, uh, flack and three, they probably would have had it been way further ahead on things because Epic universe is looming large and they're kind of screwed right now. And things like smell offense on parade is not going to cut it. Oh, uh, so th this guy, did this guy push them into it? He said, Disney only spoke up to object after this column in newspaper. Sure, sure, the company's Scott. history trying to play both sides and employees demand the company. Whoa, pick whoa, whoa, whoa. We brought, no, 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 Scott, 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 Scott. We've mentioned that before you did. We mentioned that in our video before you, before this happened, you know, we've talked about it in other videos and stuff before it's long, it's long known. I mean, hell, when Biden was going to be, um, you know, sworn in, basically Disney flat out said, if any of you people think you're going to stand up against him, you're not going to get our money anymore. Yeah, I mean, it, this yeah, is not, it got not a it secret. got a lot uglier. They're like, well, we just don't understand what happened. They just had a couple of things. No, it was it was pretty ugly. It was that whole thing was ugly. And I'm not saying DeSantis is a saint in this, but I'm just saying like it should have been handled a long time. This ago. thing was Disney really had no business getting into politics like this. It was out of character for the company. Well, the way it sounded was um, from behind the scenes, if if true. Chapek didn't want to. He was trying to stay out of it, but Susan Arnold pushed him into it. Yes, Susan Arnold, if, if who is true, an activist, if that true. That was what people if that true. are insiders have said, but we and, can't confirm or deny that. We can't they, confirm it. But, I mean, as far as Reedy Creek goes, they've been Disney's been abusing Reedy Creek privileges for decades beyond mm -hmm. when they were supposed to. They were and they've been paying off both sides for oh, yeah. years. It's not yeah. everybody. Anybody who follows Disney knows that. Oh, I, oh it was me. No, no, no. No, no, Scott. Disney Everybody who follows known this for a long time. <laughs> Disney World is Vegas with more alligators. That's yeah. that's basically what it is. They uh, even have the new show. It looks like strippers on poles. They do. So, they do. You know, there you go. Um, so yeah, I just think it's funny that they're they're trying really hard to cope, but it's like, yeah, it's no. It's not just this article. There were several that were several like, oh, articles. Disney won. That's a stalemate, guys. Yeah. Oh, DeSantis oh, was yeah. they're, they're, they're gonna they're gonna endanger plans to invest 17 billion over the next decade. How? Let, let's take that just for one minute. This has how, come from the Hollywood Report. How are they yeah. gonna how are they gonna invest 17 billion? I'm trying to figure this out because if you break down the the even from their own thing that they're putting out ahead of the proxy war, they broke down the 60 billion in spending. It's only 30 billion that's going to actually go to new attractions. Some of it's going to upkeep of old attractions. 30 billion across all the parks. In the, in the next several years. So where is the 17 billion coming from? That's more than half of that amount of money. Yeah. So 
Iger just pulled it out of his butt to try and like we own Florida. We are Florida. We're here. I'm like, great, you can start paying your fair share in property taxes while you're at it, since you're all about Florida. But that's a whole other story. But they don't have the 17 billion. It's, it can't come out of the 60 billion. Oh yeah, 17. Nope. 30 for it for all of it. And that's all the parks. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like when they talk about their investment that they're gonna spend in the parks, what what gets me about it is what I'm seeing are a lot of announcements for the overseas parks and a lot of announcements for cruise ships and, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I'm not that all counts too, the cruise ships. Yeah, I know, but people want to see new stuff in Walt Disney World. They want well, new attractions. They want uh, pr a lot of people would like to have a fifth gate, but we're probably not gonna get it anytime but soon. But I love this. It's for it's an, it's it's endangering plans. And he canceled that Lake Nona because no, he didn't. They were already not they were already stalled out in Lake Nona. They were doing jack shit on Lake Nona. There was designs and that was about it. They hadn't done much of anything because because they, they were already getting so much pushback from California. They were going to cancel it before that. And they just used that as an excuse to cancel it. Yep. Full crap. It's all about, that's all they do. It's all about a sleight of hand and how they can make something look. That is the Disney way. Trust me. It was, it was ingrained that, you know, you have to say something positive and if yes. you can spin it to make it look like it's great, Disney did something big, do it. Yeah, that, this is coming from people who it worked uh, pretty closely with their their media and PR. Teacups isn't the only spinning ride at Walt no, Disney World. No, but uh, I I just I think it's so funny that they're like, yeah, it's uh, you know, it was a win for for both sides, and they both lost, but they both won. It's okay. Okay, now we're just gonna gloss over this and pretend that we weren't rallying against DeSantis for two years. He lost a lot of money. He lost a lot of money. Because yeah. the people called him anti-business. I don't think that's anti-business. You're basically saying Disney has to play by the same rules as everybody else. Yep. I, as another business, I'd be like, yeah, it's about time. Yeah. Wait, so his loss is that he lost money because people said he was anti-business. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. And the Yang plans for the office complex in Orlando. Uh-uh. No, 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 Hollywood Reporter. No, no, no. They were going to do that anyway. Lake Nona was already delayed it was too several expensive. times. It was too expensive. It was, they had plans out for yeah. it, but they kept stalling it out. And then all the Imagineers were saying they weren't going to move. Yep. Some of them did, and they got stuck. In, and some people quit because they thought they were going to have to move. And that was a big problem. They used this as, an exa as a reason to, to, to save money because Disney was hemorrhaging money, cancel the project, get away with it, save money, and say, oh, we did it because of DeSantis. Bullshit. Bullshit, they did it because of DeSantis. No, they didn't. If you followed the project, they stalled it out for a while before any of this happened. Bullshit. You follow that Hollywood reporter, you're, you're, that's not what happened. Yeah. So it's like, look, um, the media rewrites history, right? After the fact. Mm -hmm. They'll just be like, well, no, Winston. <laughs> I like the name, though. Yeah. So I don't know, guys. And it's like, I mean, it's funny that they're weighing in on, on Florida politics from. California. Actually, most of the Disney employees that had an issue with that what were was, protesting were in California. They were in California. There was like one or two in Florida. And you know what? To be fair, I'll give that person all the credit in the world that showed up in Florida. Yeah, it takes because, balls. I mean, it does. Yeah, it took. They, uh, yeah. I think it was one person, and they showed up on their own. And you know, I might not agree necessarily with everything there that they were they were trying to do, but I I can I can recognize the amount of courage that it took to be the one person to show up. So, I mean, I'll give them complete credit for that because at least they had the guts to try to do something that they believed in. Like, so I'll give them credit. Like 70,000 employees and like right. one person standing there by I mean, themselves in a pride flag in Florida. And yeah, I mean- and you don't have that, to always agree with them, but yeah. I do respect yeah, the, the, yeah. the guts to do it. Yeah, for sure. So there we go, guys. Uh, media trying to rewrite things, trying to cope. Uh, they didn't both. I mean, definitely, even if Disney got a little bit of a whatever from it, it, it definitely is like 98% DeSantis. Well, and the, the, the win is that we can finally put this to on. bed, make a yeah. new contract, and then move forward. And you kind of did yourself. You kind of you kind of kneecapped yourself trying to fight it when you could have just you know worked with them from day one. If you hadn't if you hadn't done that little sneaky little sneak thing you did, yeah, and just worked with them from day one, I bet you money it, you would have been they would have worked with you and it would have been fine. And you would okay yeah take the loss visually, but like it's in their benefit to work with you and bring money to the area too. So it would have benefited everyone. And instead we waste a bunch of money. Drag it out for more than a year, and yep. now we're back to where you would have been in the first place. Right back to square one. And you could have been how much further ahead at this point? All right, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye, Scott.